Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, C580 here. Um, just wanted to make a quick video. I just finished um, upgrading my uh, LS3 stock rocker arms to the um, Comcams Trunnion kit. And uh, thanks to the uh, Summit LS Trunnion tool, it's uh, it was a very, very easy job. I mean, you can do all your rock arms in like half an hour and all you need is a bench vise. But I just want to actually make this quick video to show the comparison between the OEM trunnion and bearings versus an aftermarket one like comp cams. A lot of guys uh, might not be sure what the stock one really looks like and this one's it right here. The problem with the stalker is uh, So you can see here obviously it rocks back and forth when the valve train is is moving when the motor is running the problem is when this cap here fails now some people might look at this on the inside and I've seen somebody post saying I think GM has now upgraded to to sealed bearings where the needles are, are sealed and that's not necessarily true because it might look like it but if this cap fails there's nothing holding it see it comes right off and you have all these little needle bearings that would love to make their way all throughout your engine and that would really suck and then this is the OEM trunnion so pretty good design but if you're running anywhere near a healthy cam with uh, some good valve spring pressures uh, the OEM ones might not like that too much or for too long even though mines did survive for quite a long time with a good size cam I still did the upgrade for a piece of mine you can see the comparison between like a comp cams bearing see it's the race and the housing the housing is all one piece and the needle bearings are inside so they're not gonna come out and then they're held on on the inside by the trunnion itself so not saying that these can't fail but you really gotta grenade one of these or or hurt it pretty bad for it to disassemble and f for these needle bearings to get out but if that happens um, you got some other valve train issues going on so anyway, just thought I'd share this with you guys for maybe some of those who are contemplating doing this uh, upgrade kit from Comp Cams or some other aftermarket kit. Uh, and also for those who haven't looked at an OEM bearing and wondering what all the fuss was about. So anyway, there you go.